Hey guys, what's up, Cancer? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. So we're going to do an immediate future love reading. We're going to look at the past, the current energies, and the immediate future outcome between you and the person that is on your mind, or the person you're dealing with, whoever, however it resonates. So remember, the uh, energies can always be flipped. They can be reversed. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe to the video. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, <laughs> that's below as well. <clears throat> I'm laughing because it felt like somebody's like uh, playing it like real cool, calm and collective, but inside like they're they're way more like wanting to just go towards something or way more excited and optimistic, but it was coming across like like just walking, playing a cool um all right, anyways, pass for cancer, the current energies in the immediate future actions. From this person, that's way too many. Cancer, please. We'll also get some messages from this person. Alright, you got the wheel, the higher fence, and the ten of wands. Well, something is changing. You have two tens here. Tens are about changes and transformations. In the middle of it all, you have a five, which is more change. Sometimes, though, with change can come conflict. And in the past, the wheel is there. So it does feel like things like try to grow. They try to expand. We're really just going to have to clarify to see. Because this Ten of Wands for the outcome can go a couple of ways. Either something's going to become too difficult or somebody's going to work towards it. Because there is the possibility for change here. It's about divine timing. So it's going to happen when it's supposed to. But it's not. it's not going to be easy. But that's usually how it goes for the things that we want the most. So show me this wheel for the past for cancer and the person on their mind. The tower. Something may have happened really quickly here, really abruptly. Talking about the past for cancer. With the tower, that's a big drive. That's a big assertiveness here. It looks like things tried to change and then they kind of hit a roadblock. Somebody got really nervous. For some, there could have been a third-party situation. So for, remember, just take what yours. Because for some, something may have gotten revealed here. Or somebody's just really nervous around that. It could be something along the lines of betrayal. Doesn't have to be if it's not yours. Somebody could have just got real paranoid. But it feels like something started to change and then it hit a roadblock. Show me this higher thing for the current energies. Oh my goodness, you got the Hierophant and the Devil. So Taurus Capricorn energy, but the, it's just interesting because you have one, like the Hierophant, that's like a higher spiritual calling, right? That can be like religious, our beliefs, our morals, and then you hit that Devil and that's everything but... So for some, it could have been anything from, you know, it, it could be... um addictions or you know just behavior patterns on repeat show me the current energies justice damn libra energy you have major cards here for the current energy why is the devil there for some there could have been a legal situation somebody could have like tested fate yeah somebody's trying to come back and make this work that's why the Ten of Swords is there for the outcome. Because for some, they're like really obsessed with you. There could have been like, um, this is a very attractive person here. But for some, you could have cut this out. Cut out something that you felt like was no longer serving you. Uh, kids could have also been kind of, you know, somehow at play. It doesn't have to be, but some, some type of compromise had to be reached as well. There could have been something that's, that's pretty physical here. So show me this Ten of Wands for the immediate future outcome for Cancer, please. That's why the Ten of Wands is here and that difficult feeling was there. Because there's obstacles that have to be overcame. The Ten of Wands, the Hermit, Virgo, Energy, and the Empress. 
Taurus Libra energy associated with Venus, but it feels like the focus is kind of on yourself there. Like this may have been your weakness or not not your weakness. Like this person may kind of like gave you that butterfly feeling. It definitely feels like they're trying to still hold on, but it feels like actually the Empress is a little bit more held back. You may feel like for some if kids are involved, like a lot of uh I hate to say, like, kind of carrying some type of weight or responsibilities there. Tell me more about the outcome. I don't see much action. That's not to say there isn't any, but, yeah, the world. I think you're working hard to change things for yourself. This is definitely still there with the Four of Pentacles. For some, there could have been, like, a legal situation, but there's some type of, like, compromise that has to, or, you know, balance that has to be reached. So when you're ending with the Hermit and the Four of Pentacles, it's kind of more of the, like, inward energy. It kind of feels like you're working hard to change things for yourself, to move past difficult times. All right, let's get messages for cancer from this person. I try to find some action there. All right, messages for cancer from this person, please. I wish I had treated you better. Messages for cancer from this person, please. I knew exactly what I was doing. We both know I'm not the one for you. I wish things could be different. One more, please. I bury myself in work to forget you. So this person is definitely still holding on. The Four of Pentacles is still here. But there's some things. Finding out the truth crushed me. So it doesn't look like, but remember this is just going to be a future reading. <clears throat> Alright, Cancer, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.